Well, it's I, Bishop Stan, your favorite internet food review bishop, and I am reviewing uh, something I've never really reviewed before. The For Battle Fish Sandwich 2024, a new, a new contestant, A&W. They have a fairly high-end fish. They have an Alaskan wild-caught cod, a pretty expensive fish, and it looks like a big fish from the picture. It's actually one of the most expensive fish sandwiches. Might be the most expensive fish sandwich at $7.50 here in California. Um, I'm not getting this at a real A&W. I'm getting it at one of the Kentucky Fried Chicken hybrids. So it may not be the same, but it also might be terrific. So let's take a look. All right. This package is all pretty good. Definitely warm. One thing I like about A&W is they have the finely cut lettuce shreds, but that is going to make opening the sandwich up kind of hard. So let's take a look here as I take the bottom off so all the lettuce doesn't come out. Wow, this is pretty sad. It's actually two fish pieces. They give you kind of a decent amount, but it's not that great. Uh, bun is warm, so that's good. But the test is in the taste. See, I could really just change my mind entirely on the first taste. So let's break off a little piece. So the breading is good. It's very crunchy. It's not panko. So it's more like what uh, the Chinese people used to, to uh, do their stuff. A lot of cornstarch. But let's take a let's take a try. Oh hey, almost forgot. Lord, we give you thanks for this food and our time together. Amen. Okay, so far it's a mixed bag. Um, the fish is pretty good. The bun is what they use for hamburger. It's actually too firm. It's too firm for a fish sandwich. But let's keep going. The fish is nice and flaky. Um, but not undercooked. See, that's the deal. You got to get it just right. Um, the tartar sauce is dilly, but it's too sweet. It's just really too sweet. All right. Well, I've eaten enough of this sandwich to know what I think. The biggest problem with this is I have the wrong kinds of pickles in there. The pickles have a kind of a weird, sweet taste. There's kind of a weirdness to it. It's, it's hard to exactly say what it is. You can see a little cross-section there. The picture that they show shows a single big piece of, fi of fish coming off the edge. That is not what I got. And boy, am I unhappy. So I am ready to render a verdict. The bishop is ready to judge. For value, it is a D. Now it's a C minus, because you actually do get some sandwich. Okay, it's a C minus for value. And it's a B minus. Nope. I'm going to drop it down to a C plus. The... Uh, no, straight B. That's it. It's a straight B because the fish is actually cooked correctly. And that was not the case with uh, Carl's Jr., Arby's, or Burger King. So I'm going to be merciful in my judgments and I'm going to give it a B. But for value, boy, spend your money elsewhere. There's other places with better value. Well, I am, I am Bishop Stan, and I have spoken, but you're the jury. What do you think? Have you tried the sandwich? Do you have a different opinion? Uh, was it a better experience? Was it a worse experience? Boy, I was blown away and surprised by um, some of these guys. And uh, Jack in the Box rose in the ranks. Uh, this year's first new contestant uh, was um, a Dairy Queen, and they just came out swinging. Boom, boom, boom. So what do you think? And I just want to remind everybody to stay godly. 
It's important. God bless.